Hey, what's up guys? Sorry, I've just been super busy lately. You know, life never stops. You know, from work, having a baby. I've just had a really hard time, you know, finding ways to allocate my time correctly. Seriously, life is just so crazy. Like it's, it's been the On the real though, despite how crazy my personal life has been, every other fleeting moment I've had available has been dedicated to Elden Ring. Just to give some perspective, I have about 180 hours in Animal Crossing and that game has been out for two years now. And with Smash Ultimate, that game has been out for a little over three years and I have 190 hours in that game. And Elden Ring has been out since February and <clears throat> I have 190 hours in that game. <laughs> I know that other gamers out there easily have a lot more time in Elden Ring than I do, but relative to me, I have never played a game more aggressively in my entire life. Elden Ring has completely consumed my existence. And this shouldn't be a huge surprise, I suppose. Um, for those who have been watching my channel for a while, shout outs, by the way, love you guys. My chair keeps squeaking, by the way. It's gonna pick up in the video. Um, but yeah, for those who've been following my channel for a while now, I'm a huge From Software fan. Bloodborne kicked off my fandom years ago and I've never been the same ever since. For better or for worse. <laughs> but Elden Ring has been a completely and totally unique experience for me. Besides just being in a new open world format, this is the first From Software game that I've really taken an honest and deep dive into the game's multiplayer mechanics. And truly, it's been a surprisingly touching journey for me. And I just wanna share it with you guys. So there's really no reason why Elden Ring is the first From Software game that I really dived into the multiplayer. It may be because the game is a lot more accessible in its multiplayer functionalities. It may be the fact that I have saw some amazing and hilarious PvP content on my social media feeds. And it honestly also could be the fact that me and my close buddies all got Elden Ring at launch and we played it simultaneously together. Either way, I was determined to give Elden Ring's multiplayer an honest go, despite my awful internet connection. <laughs> I didn't jump right into the multiplayer though. Um, I wanted to experience the game by myself first off. With that being said, let me just say there is no wrong way to play a From Software game, no matter what the Redditors and tweeters tell you. So after beating the game, I felt more comfortable and prepared to lend a helping hand to my fellow Tarnished. But I'll admit, before lending my helping hand, um, I wanted to have some selfish, goofy fun with the invasion mechanics and boy it was it was something I think playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land may have influenced my invasion character choice. Um, um, I think it made for good content though. <laughs> so after I did my um, goofy invasion spree, I decided to hop into co-op. Despite my awful internet connection, again, I was actually able to make it into some co-op sessions. <clears throat> that didn't stop the sessions from being complete trash poopy. It didn't take long for me to get hooked into the co-op. Guys, it is an absolute blast playing Elden Ring co-op. There's truly nothing like hopping into another player's world with no voice chat whatsoever and just emoting to each other.
And there's not only the emotes, you have the prattling plate clays to say various phrases to each other. And I don't know, I just liked calling my, my buddies beautiful. You're beautiful. But let's get past the formalities, right? We're here to we're here to kill some bosses. We're here to fight some bad guys. Sharing in that triumph of taking down Malaketh or taking down Millennia is exhilarating. Doing so solo is pure adrenaline, right? But doing it cooperatively, that adrenaline becomes joy. I don't know, it's like cracking a cold one with the boys, but in Dark Souls. <laughs> I know that's dumb, that's probably super dumb, but what I'm getting at is the spirit of camaraderie. Going into a fight, knowing that I'm going to help out some randos on the internet is seriously addicting. I figured when I started co-oping, I would hit a few matches and then be done, right? But night after night, co-op session after co-op session, I would be up till two or three in the morning for about two weeks. Oops. And I think for me at least, this goes beyond the minute to minute gameplay of fighting bosses with the homies. As fun as it is, I think why I love Elden Ring co-op so much has to do with the very philosophy that brought about co-op in Souls games in the first place. There is actually a story from the game's um, creator Hidetaka Miyazaki that touches on this philosophy that I'd like to share with you. Miyazaki had the idea for such moments years ago, after his car became trapped in snow on a hill. A group of strangers pushed the vehicle to the top, then disappeared soundlessly into the night. This is so freaking cool, and honestly I think it's beautiful. That silent camaraderie of strangers coming to somebody's aid is so powerful. And I'm sure that most of, if not all of us, have had similar experiences. You know, be it our cars breaking down or dropping your backpack or your books in the school hallway and having strangers come to your aid. Um, one story that comes to mind is, um, <laughs> it's kind of, it's really personal to me and I might sound kind of silly, but I remember when I was in elementary school, um, I had this binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I remember I brought them to school one day and I lost them at recess in the schoolyard. And I was devastated. I was in tears, obviously. I was a big crybaby. I was crying a lot. Cause I mean, they were everything and I lost them. And I was so sad about it. But right before the end of the school day, um, a couple of girls that were a few grades older than me came up to me and my buddy with the binders in hand and they were like, are these your binders? Um, we found them in the snow, it was snowing. And um, I was blown away that they had found my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And honestly, I, I think it was kind of a little miracle that they had found them and brought them to me. They probably connected the dots cause I was crying. But um, the point is, is that I had lost these cards and these girls that I didn't know came to my aid at such a dire moment and after that, they seemingly disappeared into the, you know, into the night. And I think about this story a lot. That touched me and will forever touch me forever about, you know, kindness and helping others. And I think that goes both ways, right? There is a joy that comes with serving others as well. Like, I'm sure that all of us have felt the joy of helping an elderly woman across the street. I know that's a very cliche example, but that sentiment of helping others and feeling that joy of doing so, I think can be felt in some extent in Elden Ring. And I think this applies to other games too. You see the same kind of cooperation in Journey and in Death Stranding. And I think those games are all the more powerful and impactful because of it. Being aided by others is so beautifully humbling and coming to the aid of others truly brings so much joy. It's amazing how something as simple as playing a video game with some strangers can have such an impactful reminder of the happiness of serving our fellow human beings in real life. It's beautiful. And Lord knows that more kindness can go around. It's no secret that life sucks and there's a lack of empathy out there in the world. And this actually makes me think of another quote by Miyazaki in regards to Demon's Souls and its multiplayer functionality. And I'll read that quote here. Because this is a game with a lot of dying in it, 
Surely that kind of fleeting cooperation should come out of all of that death. We're all dead, so let's help each other out. Jeez, I think these words hit so hard today. Not that we're dead by any means, but I think that with everything going on in the world, it's easy to feel like we're dead or dying. And I think that's such a powerful reminder that, you know, we're all in this together. Let's help each other out. Let's seek ways to come to the aid of our fellow tarnished from day to day. Hey guys, before I end the video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my friend Blurry. He's an amazing digital artist and recently he made this profile picture slash character of me. And it's so rad. He based it off of the Tanuki video I did where I talk about Tanuki and Japanese folklore. And he also, you know, sprinkled some of my style in there. You can see my glasses lenses in there. And yeah, it, it just turned out amazing. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And I would also love if you guys, you know, checked out his socials. He's an amazing artist. He's an amazing friend. He makes amazing art of like, it's like a mix of urban and grunge and Y2K. And it, there's amazing color choice and the characters that he makes are super rad. And I, I could go on forever, but point is, shouts out to Blurry. He's amazing. So grateful for this picture that he made for me. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys.